Hey, now, I'm not that late. Maybe by less than a singular minute, according to my clock. But it's not 8 o'clock yet. Two seconds late for the opening monologue. Are you going to join the theater now? <laughs> oh god, I don't have the energy for that type of thing, though. I'm fine if the Opera House doesn't like it. But yeah, okay. He hello, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Hope, hope you're all having a fantastic Saturday, or whatever date it is for you right now. And here we are. So we finished the Hylix series yesterday, assuming a third doesn't come out out of, like, the sky or something. Um, and we, I, we had a good time. I, I was a bit frustrated with just how bad I was, but... Oh, well. We did that. That was a lot of fun. And now we're on to a more spooky, spooky game. I was in drama class all throughout school and I could confirm the performances in class feel like workouts. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a, uh, like when I was going to public school as a kid, like a preteen, I enjoyed the occasional school play. I, I got into those. I liked that. I enjoyed that. But uh, yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't last in public school for quite a while. And uh, there's no way I'd be able to do like fucking that type of thing nowadays. But that's fine, because there's tabletop role-playing games. I had a group who did a, a circus-themed performance for my finals, and I never want to hear that particular circus music again, even though it's been almost ten years. <laughs> Holy shit. But alright, everyone, so we're actually on to, um... Uh... No, stop! <laughs> we're, uh... <laughs> Let's, uh, let's, <laughs> let's, uh, get to a new spooky game I have not played before. It's been requested several times in the past, and it's good, though, and so I decided I might as well, uh, let's, uh, get to it on, uh, Halloween month, you know? It's, uh, we're, we're pretty, I'm pretty late to it, you know, it's 12 days into October, and now I'm doing the spooker spooker game, but, you know. But yeah, so Darkwood, I, I'm pretty sure it's, like, a 2D overhead view survival horror game. I don't know if it has a story story or if it's more of like a endless survival game, but uh, we will see in a moment here. So, hope you all gonna have a good time that uh, your week and weekend has been well. The other group had all the slackers in it, and one of the people dropped out of school partway through so they fucked it up bad. Yeah, that sucks. That doesn't sound like a very fair fight. Fuck, I forgot to turn the static back on. Whatever. Illusion broken. Here it can be. It can be here. Oh, oh, oh no! I never. I never. Uh, wah, 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 wah. Awesome. Repostinate. <laughs> Is this quiet? I feel like. I feel like when I was sitting outside earlier when I was setting this up that it didn't sound this quiet, but now it's it. But now it is. You're playing the Pyro Cynical game? I'm not gonna lie, yo. I don't know technically who that guy even technically is. And I don't know how he's connected to this game. Maybe 50 is a bit too high. Let's go 40. Alright. So I set up the resolution and all that. You've watched so many videos of his? Probably? It's one of those things where if I've watched a lot of stuff of his of his um I wasn't paying attention to the fact that it was him and so like the presence of his existence just kind of just goes in one ear out the other. Like there's a lot of YouTubers that are like that or a lot of a uh, Oh yeah, just content creators in general where it's like I've probably seen a bunch of their shit, but it didn't even register to me. Or didn't, you know, stay put. Unless I'm thinking of somebody- wait, maybe I'm thinking of something other, somebody other than Pyrocynical. I don't know. I don't know. But okay. I don't know the controls, I haven't done the tutorial, I have done literally nothing. Let's hope this game doesn't fry the, the laptop like an egg.
Indiegogo content. This, this option enables additional cool but immersion breaking content. Nah, I don't want to break immersion. Pyrocynical did the Cruelty Squad video, which is several hours long. Oh! Okay, I'm thinking of somebody else. I must be thinking of, like, some streamer. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking... I think I... I think I'm getting, like, people mixed up in my brain. I thought Pyro... I thought, I, like, my brain associated Pyrocynical with, like, uh... Like, some sort of, like, COD player or something? Who are you thinking of? I don't... Honestly, I don't know at this point. I thought that, like, a Pyrocynical was, uh... I, I thought that was referring to somebody that was, that's, like, a COD streamer or something. <laughs> I don't... I do I feel like I, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm from a different dimension. This is the flower food dimension, and I'm an, and I'm an alien from... A different one, where nobody ever considered eating dandelions, because that, that, that was gross. Maybe, maybe in my memory, like, Pyro Cynical was actually, from my universe, he was like this... Well, he wasn't an essay story YouTuber, he was like a, some guy who plays COD and screams and shit or something. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but... You are playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods. Be patient. Focus. Well, see, the problem is that I'm a streamer and I have no patience because I'm on a two-hour clock. So we're going to be really bad at this game. We're going to be very bad at this game. Because the patience will not exist. I see, I see fate, hatred. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. As if I was responsible for spreading the disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed. All right. I don't have any skills to use yet, okay. Hill. My old notepad. Can I turn the page? It doesn't seem that I can. I picked normal difficulty. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Okay. Homemade device for producing moonshine. The only edible thing growing on this land. I still have some left. Okay, can I, like, eat them? Glass bottles. Dismantle. Dismantling this now would be suicide. Right. Generator's almost out of juice. I need to find a gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Difficulty is a skin darkening slider. 
when I first was setting this game up, it did ask me to, like, do that, that, uh, darkness slider. I ended up putting it at, like, halfway instead of doing it as, as instructed because I, did, I wanted to make sure that, like, you could see the stream. Normal doesn't have permadeath, so it's okay. Alright. Nothing in the cage. Okay, so shift, we can run. Cages, this time they're empty. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Lock is jammed a long time ago. Never mind. I you never mind. I used to keep useless junk in there anyway. Ugh. I hate I hate the ground creepy crap. Gross gross shit. You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. Interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. I've just woken up. So it changes color to black when I can't interact, and it goes to white when I can. They're all mushies in this game. That's all I'll say. I mean, I remember, like, watching this game many, many years ago, like, Markiplier play it. But, I, like, all of that has exited my brain by now. Like, I think in this opening, I think the spoiler I know is that this character we're playing is going to die, and the actual player character was the one who kills him. I have that damn cooling fan memory GPU SSD stuck in my head now. It's It was pretty nice. I was listening to it before uh, getting set up. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I can't, uh... I can't read whatever this says. Unfortunately. Radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. All right, I have to go to the the I have to go to a truck in the east. Unlocked with key. My 125p used to be a luxury, but since all the access roads have been devoured by the woods, it became a useless pile of trash. Destroyed well. Search. A large humanoid doll with a carved out face. Gouge's eyes. Yep. you would fit well in this world. Oh yeah, Parasite the Maximum is like almost one for one what should be in this world. My dog, I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. A space to vault over obstacles. You know, for some reason I'm thinking of fake Doc Q. Oh. I know I'm going over the fence, I'm just looking around a bit. OK. 
Okay, I can't go that way. Oh, there's an axe here. I see. He said he wasn't going to make it. That was just euthanasia. All right. Think of note over there. You don't know that. You're not a vet. Trees are growing too fast. Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. All right. All paths lead deeper in the woods. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Oh wait, I have a, a stamina bar. Okay, I assume I am there, in the red area. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. Pick it. Patient found falling tree, fallen tree. Skyrim Spriggins be like, yep. Yep. Especially with mods. Immediately transfer items between inventories. Hold left control or left shift when clicking on it. Yeah, that's what I was that's I, I did that earlier. Parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. All right. Get an attack with the torch as well. All right. Three quick, three quick draw slots. Location found. Abandoned house. A few days it will be completely absorbed. This house is like obliterated. There's no roof.
Depression simulator? Kinda, yeah. How long do the torches last? Okay, that's water. Probably not a good idea. I think this one is still breathing. Conscious man. Big metal key. There's an exit out of these woods. The key will surely open it. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. Only carrying a key and some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. But that... is of no importance. I need to get out of this accursed forest. You can hear me, rat? Show me how and I will let you go. And okay, we're actually playing as this guy here. I sometimes hear her voice. He's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. Yeah, we are actually playing as this guy. That's a callback to that time he killed a dog. That fucker stole my key. I hurt. I can use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. Okay. Oh, I have a lockpick. Or I can make one. He's trying to escape the forest? I guess so, right? Okay. Okay, I use the bandage. All right. Unlocked. The A, there's no Skyrim minigame. Hey, we're uh, about to be healed of maximum, right? Whoa there, Nelly. Not to be, not so quick. First, you have to survive the forest. Right. Did I not try to escape? I just barricade is too strong. Strong to dismantle. Okay. item is no longer useful. You must repair it. Oh, 
Oh, I need a fucking... Radio Unitra. Doctor was standing in the middle middle of the room and then vanished. I didn't even notice. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Marble table with leather belt strapped. Also, someone was talking to you behind the locked metal door. I noticed that part. I just didn't comment on that. Gasoline and table leg. Aha, okay. Wait, 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 what am I? There we go. Corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open and I can hear a sort of voice barely distinguishable from radio static. Turn on the generator, turn on the generator. That guy, that's, that's still moving. To refill the generator, equip a gasoline tank. Hold right, followed by left. Been working, right? Oh yeah, there's a bar at the bottom, I see. Tank is empty. Okay. Four eight nine two. Got it. Apply some force to it. There we go. Help me. Come closer. Plastic chick, small plastic chick. Right? And how do you want to get out now? Think you can manage all by yourself? Hear it? Make it through the prologue, okay. Mushy connection established. Vegement restream hajibe maste.
Just kidding, you were never supposed to make it through the night. Oh, what, are we playing as a third character now? Still the same guy. The house we're in is different. Oh, wait, is that like the end of the... Is that like a... Is the prologue like a vision of the end of the game? And so we've already seen the end is that we die? It's not? Okay. Photo of road. The road home. Okay, well, now that we've searched this, let's uh, barricade this, this uh, way. Okay, barricade that like that. Yesterday, I barricade one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do the same with the other windows. Workbench. How do I barricade? I don't have the required resource. Okay, I need planks. Can I, like, destroy the stool, turn it into wood? Oh. Hold on. I have no weapon. I don't want to go out to that slurping noise right yet. Oven? Pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. The smell of the protective substance which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Sam in the oven. When I arrived here a couple days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. Look at the weird bottle. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of re- Okay. Staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to eventually spread the gas inside the sleeping area. Warning! Even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended is recommended to stay in well lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. Look inside the pot. Small empty cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms, these red pulsating mushrooms, they look so tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. I keep making these pronunciation mistakes because I have congestion in my fucking head perpetually and it's like tugging on the inside of my face and, and makes me sound weird at times. Haven't felt any hunger or thirst, huh? Am I still muted? No, I'm not. Okay. Hook. Okay, this doesn't think, seem like a thing I can do yet. Wardrobe. Bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was exceptionally uneventful. The title reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. I assume this is German. Fucking kill me, dude. Okay, what do I do? It's Polish? Great. 
All right. I need wood, yeah. Do I have any weapons? Oh, yeah, 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 and nah, I don't. Oh, wait a minute. These are all... It's Polish? Ah, okay. So my only way out is actually through this little... This little motherfucker here. There we go. Oh, you can climb out the windows? Oh, well. Oops. Large mushroom harvest. You also have a door? I didn't even see, actually. Generator is half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. Okay. Anything to say about this guy, my dude? I see. Okay, yeah. You could always just go out the windows. Can't go out with their, once they're barricaded. Yeah, I figured. Additional supply depots required. Hey, thank you so much. For the renewed subscription, my dude. Late to our three-year anniversary. I suppose so. Is this really three years? I suppose so. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking for a fucking weapon, if I'm gonna be totally honest. Convert wood logs into planks. God. Well, build needs wood. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Okay, like, don't I need like an axe and like a shovel or some shit to cut down the trees? Bandages, I guess. Fuck that. Craft board with nails. Okay, I don't have a board, though. Right? And no, I don't have any wood for that. Okay, I need to figure out how to get a wooden board. All right. The map too? Right. I feel like wandering around without any real equipment is not a good idea. Maybe I've missed something back at the house. Oh, all right. Huh. Well, 
wonder if that's a good idea to use. Um... We don't actually need to use this to leave. So let's keep this boarded. One of the slides of the house, you have a lot of storages by the look of it. Uh, I sp- oh. Can I put things away into these things? Let's see. Oh, I don't know what that is. Can't interact with it. Same with that one. Maybe this, though? Oh, okay. Well, well, wait, wait. There are wood logs here, but there's no wood. Container. Okay, right, I have this, but I don't know what the password is. Already searched the corpse. There's the generator. I think I'm the X, maybe? Broken tree. Locked. I could open it with a lock pick. I don't think I have one. Yeah. Fuck! I can make a lockpick with that. Oh no, I need two. Damn it. What else can I make, though? Bandage? Got a cloth, I guess? That's the broken tree that the map mentioned. Interesting when you're running. Uh, you stop paying attention to the perspective of your uh, cursor anymore. It's late, not gonna lie. I wish you'd get back, go back to sleep. You have a good night, man, and we hope to see you next week. Throw stones. Alright. Well, we have wood logs, so... Run back north. Swear to God, if I passed my fucking house, I'm gonna be annoyed. I almost passed my house. All right. Cool. All right.
So, board with nails. Right, right. So we have six boards. Sure. Weapon. Any point in uh Oh, that's storage. Okay. Problem now. Interesting, all right. Cookable. Rots over time. Oh. I see. I shouldn't have made the antidote. But oh well. Uh, okay, all right. We need more wood. That's my problem. I don't know where to get, uh... Did I have any, um, objectives flash on the screen for me at some point? Perhaps not. Wolf's camp. Smell your stench all the way from over here, meat. You an enemy? Wolfman. What the fuck? Even from afar I can smell your putrid stent. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. Figure hides his face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost if you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? As he leans toward me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I've got no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. Do journal entry. Okay. When you get there, you will find me in this spot. Remember it. Wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. Likes of you always crawl back to me. Alright. Gossip. I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you, meat, or at least until you get a decent weapon. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It would mean certain death for you, meat. Better hide in that hideout of yours before dark and pray for the morning light. If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far from here unless you've got bored of your lousy life, meat. Only a few returned from the dense woods, but those who made it back were not able to share their happy stories. <laughs> Show item. Plastic chick. Beautiful item. Perfect for a church fair. Photo of a road. What's that you got there? Wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts, his thick yellow spit landing on the photo. This road doesn't exist anymore, overgrown with trees like all the other ones. Wolf throws the photo to the ground. Better forget about the road home, meat. Around here, all roads lead to nowhere. Huh.
How do I access my journal? Oh, J. Okay, yeah. These damn... Into these damned savages, everything should go smoothly. 12th of September, 1987. I don't remember anything since the attack at our camp. Somehow, I'm wearing a coat, so I must have changed my clothes on my way here. I don't recognize myself anymore. I can barely hold this pencil. Has my body changed? I no longer feel hunger or thirst. What has happened to me? E to the Underground, 21. I remember his face. The face of the man who saved me, then held me captive. I don't know how I managed to escape his hut and end up here. What I do know is that the insane fucker took my key. My only chance to get out of the woods. He also tore out all the pages from my journal. I doubt that he was able to learn the location of the underground passage. Though, I should check... Though, I should check if the door is still locked. Trust to be sure. Just to be sure. I must find him. I don't think he still lives in the same place where he held me. Makes no difference, as I have no idea how to get back to that that file place. Day one. Nights. I need to get back to my hideout before nightfall. Wandering here at night is too risky. The forest exhibits increased activity after dark. Only the protective gas in my hideout can protect me with relative safety. The wolf. My mind must be going if I'm not delusional. The man whom I met at the head of a wolf... He told me he will help me get the key back. I just need to get through to the other side of the forest. I am to meet him in the southeast part of the Silent Forest. I should explore the surroundings before I venture forth. I do not wish to act too hastily. Wow, there's a lot of pages that we're going to have all this information put into. Oh god. Okay, now I have to go... Alright. So we're at the wolf's camp. Right, right. Okay, let's just keep exploring, I guess. I don't have to hold any buttons, that's cool. How do you know when it's night? I literally don't have any idea. Hopefully my little guy here will, uh, give me, like, a sign. I must return to my hideout before nightfall. Where the fuck am I? Here we go, here's the skid marks. There's the track marks, alright, we can get back in now. Whoops! Close that on myself. Scrap metal, where did that come from? What do I even do with scrap metal? I don't know. Bandages with alcohol, usable for heavy wounds, okay? I am gonna go out. 
Turn on the generator. Because I'm convinced that night is happening now. I turned the light off in here because I'm stupid. I'm looking. Oh no, there's this a lamp here, I guess. Are there beasties in the dark? I assume so. I'd be trying to go to fu go the fuck to sleep. Do I just stand around in here the whole time? I wonder. Is that how this works? How do I sleep? That lamp is officially unreachable. Dogsies. Why was that open? Any five wooden planks, huh? the whispering that I was experiencing right there, but now I've been lured into a less, less open area. mentioned in the game that like I don't need to eat or drink and that that's like a mysterious thing that's actually just a part of the world not just the game but that's cool because then it means that I don't have to like do survival food making mini games like Minecraft or like you know t shit a shit tillion other uh, horror games survival horror games Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here until it's not dark outside anymore. I don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing besides that. So here I am. So I eating for buffs? <laughs> hungry. Femi and hungry. Maybe this music is the indicative of when dawn comes.
Cool. Very cool. All right. That was cool. I have a hundred reputation with the trader, so let's go talk to the trader again. Might as well. What's up? Yes, meat. Trade. So now I have 50 rep. Or one of these co costs 50 rep. Wow, okay. Value 30, okay. Could make uh, lock picks with this. Open up that chest. That's like to the, the east or some shit. I didn't think I slept too badly, but I am really eepy for some reason. An ordinary chicken egg, the only difference being that it's red. I want one of those. All right, cool. I want the forest. <laughs> okay, do I already have wire in my inventory or do I put it all away? I put it all away. Okay, let's go back to my cabin. Alright, we can go to that chest out 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 there. Was it directly east? I think it was maybe southeast. I think that makes sense in my memory. Body More scrap. These are like the poison mushrooms, right? I feel smart. I feel smart. Smart. Wish I knew exactly where I was on the map, but I understand that that would make the game easier. Why can't I pick the rock back up? That's silly. Maybe it's more like just straight south? Or not. I don't remember dark but I don't remember uh dar barking dogs. I almost said darking bogs. Here it is, okay. Battery matchstick. Okay, that wasn't uh I I don't know what the importance of those items are. Um Broken tree, right. I some let's keep exploring. You remember the name of Kel's pet rock? Oh shit. Is it Hector? I'm pretty sure it's Hector, right? If 
I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I feel like it's Hector. A lot of bodies with scrap metal on them. I assume these, like, yellow ring trees, these are, like, the ones that are, like, a part of, like, the world's wall? That's why they look different. They do have crevices you can go inside of, though, that might have treasure at some point. Like a car here or something? Man, it took me it took me a lot to just make one lock pick. No. Stop. I don't like that. Scary noise. Fucking insane ass deer. Fuck deer trying to kill me. What did I find? Did I find wood? I did! I found wood logs. Okay. Underground entrance? What? Where is the underground entrance? I don't see it. Like, it said it was there, but I didn't see it. Oh! This rock? Where is this underground entrance? My weapon is almost broke. Already, it's like half, it's more than halfway d dead. That sucks. I'm still at the supposed underground entrance that I can't even see with my own eyes. I thought it was like near these rocks or something, but like these rocks just seem like rocks. So I don't really know what to make of that.
And now we're not there anymore. A lot of these fucking mushrooms, poison mushrooms. A lot of land, a lot of look, look, looks a lot of land, landmine esque. Wow. Well, they weren't evil. Yeah, I know, right? Stop being evil, stupid dog. I almost stepped on a fucking bear trap again. Did I turn my generator off? Whoops. I don't think I did. Oh, no, I did turn it off. Oh. Never mind. I guess I'm just gonna go straight south, look at the walls of the... Bot, like uh, the bottom walls of the map around here. I wonder what this X is. Like, I don't know what it is. Oh, another building. Someone used to live here, or does still live here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we found planks. This is the house. I'll find the entrance to the underground here. Oh? Fuck! Cycle quickly between objects? God damn, inventory. Drop that. Oh, are you fucking serious?
Tunnel walls were crushed by an enormous thing. I need a shovel for that, okay. Torch went out. Motorcycle magazine of the year. An automotive machine magazine, this year's issue, yeah. Thick wooden posts barely hold the soaked ground and the tangled roots. The construction seems on the verge of collapse. I am gonna make another torch, I think. Uh, never mind. I need gasoline. That was kind of freaky. Oh boy. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get lost. Not gonna lie, I don't want to be down here while uh, I have no torch and I'm fucking lost. I don't even know what my objective is. How do I get out? I forget. I have forgotten. How do I leave? Do I go through here? Yeah, here, here we go. Okay. Alright. Okay, that's the good one. That's the one we wanted. The X was the, uh, the entrance. The rocks were something else. We have a lockpick, though, again, for another, uh... Location, the brook? Where does this go? Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know what reason I would have to drag that. Oh, wait, 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 stop dragging. Cool. Okay. Now we drag it. Actually, I don't even know where to put it. Maybe like that? Yeah. Well, this ain't my generator. Weapon's dead. 
Run, run, run. Straight north. The moment I regain all the run power, we keep going. We keep hauling. Oh, this is my hideout. I think? Wait, no, no, it's not. Is that the sound of the dogs being eaten by the forest? Here we go. Wait, I need to turn the generator on. I am so fucked. I am so unbelievably fucked. I do have planks again. Four. One. All right. That fucking sucks. I have mushroom, don't I? Too dangerous to cook during the night? What an odd thing to say. wood. I need to, like, make an axe or something. Seems like that's possible, though. I am not opening that fucking door. What am I doing? How do I repair the weapon at the workbench? You have two needs one. Okay. How do you upgrade the workshop? Oh, I need to- I need- man, I need fucking wood planks for everything. I can make some, though, right here. I have a lock pick. Chain trap. I don't know how a chain trap works.
So all I know at this point is that I have to wander around looking for wood, and then I have to replace- and then I have to constantly do shit. To just try and upgrade this hideout. Until eventually I'm so safe that I can just do a bunch of other shit, I guess? And also find these mushrooms to, to uh, turn into serum or whatever. I assume the wolf guy's quest is a lot harder. Well, yeah, I'd have to like find the I'd have to find the way to cross all this place, all this shit, and then go all the way over here. I don't think I'm ready for that. I think that this that's a big trip. That's like a high lo higher level trip than what I can do right now. Yeah, I think uh, maybe the day is coming. So holy. It is kind of holy, yeah. Because it's a fucking miracle that you can survive. A man roughly my size is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the mate visor of his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of the unnaturally pale body. Guy needs the Zawarudo Astrobot power up. No, he needs to speed time up. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written on his worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside the helmet. He shrugs, then takes the huge sack off his back and drops it on the ground, revealing its contents. I'm gonna show item first. Kurega Requiemda. Photo of a road. He wipes his left glove on his pants, takes out the charcoal from his pocket, and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his dirty hand. All roads lead deeper into the woods. Okay. What type of crazy shit does he have? So like I have I have like I can like buy out to like a maximum of 200 reputation I assume. I need those. I want all the nails. Give me all the nails. In my vocab quiz, there was uh, the word kotowaru. And I was like, I know that one. Wires are very expensive, but they turn into very important shit. Board. Watch. Wait a minute, a watch might be very important. Uh, I don't know. Hill is valued at 60. Piece of fine fabric. I feel like I should get. Oh, it's max 450. Oh god, how am I ever gonna buy that shit? 
Maybe I do go for this, because, like, I don't know what else. Wait! Sixty-eight, sixty... I think that's what I need. More than anything. Alright. He nods. Very cool. Alright. Guy's a nice dude. Man takes a step in my direction and pats me on the shoulder. I thought there might be more dialogue, but... This guy's cool. I like him. Yeah, mushroom essence is what apparently gives us... Makes us level up, so to speak. Night protection. You are in hideout under the influence of the protective substance. It will help you survive the night. Time freeze. Well, time freeze? Oh, so the time doesn't start until I leave the house. That's cool. What the fuck noise was that? Oh, it was that, right. Window is barricaded. I assume this is a vital task that I need to really be paying attention to. Oh, I don't have enough nails for that. Uh, shit. Okay, well... Something else I need boards for. Oh, I could, uh, turn this into something. Invitation. We invite you to a celebration behind the cornfield in the southern edge of Dry Meadow. I feel when I want the Valgavoth precon, but I'll know I'll never get to use it. Oh man. Find the cornfield in the southern edge of the dry meadow. There is still a time freeze. Oh, so, wait, wait. So we have to go to the bottom of dry meadow. Southern edge of Dry Meadow. Five three nine five. Oh, we have twenty fuel. Hold on a moment. Okay. Cool. All right. Don't have any skills to use yet. What do I need to rebuild this? Sure. 
Yes! Now we can drink! We drink to our youth. Today's come and gone. The age of aggression is just about done. They're both boards, though. Whatever. This, I, I'm missing nails, yeah. I think I think it said I needed um nine nails and I only have eight. That that explains that. Oh yeah, we 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 make the torch that uses the alcohol. Not my absolute not my fucking fuel. That's completely insane. Okay. Still in the time freeze. Intriguing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, 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 I need to turn the fucking... I barricaded every single window except for the actual way out. Which means if I want to get out easily, I need to pay attention to this stupid thing. Mother of Christ Almighty. I cannot believe I'm so fucking stupid. Leave the generator on all night. I, I would be terrible at, like, something like Zomboid. I want to see more and more dialogue. No, 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 no. It's fine. Okay. Let's go out there. 5395. I have nothing better to do. We're gonna to be totally honest, I don't have anything better to do. Go to the southeast. Or is all of this the dry meadow? Oh, this whole area is the dry meadow. Well, it still said southern edge, so we still go southeast, I guess. Uh, okay, be careful for those. What's this fucking... Oh, this is the cornfield, right? Behind the cornfield. This has to be the cornfield, right? What else is it? I guess it could be a bush field. In fact, yeah, that's probably it. It's probably more like a bunch of bu like a bush field. Whoa. So many fucking dogs. Fuck. That's more poison. Oh my god. Yep. These are like the world edge trees. Oh, there's all these crevices though. Here's another field. 
Found location. Wedding. This must be where I was invited. Should I be making a bandage again? Oh, nuts. Alright. Why can't I see inside here? Debudu. Are the woods about to smother me to death? Like, what's going on here? Oh, stop dragging. What the f Fuck? What the fuck? Old wagon did get Decorated with colorful ribbons and flowers made of white tissue paper. Who are you? She's just dancing. She isn't trying to kill me. Five three nine five. Uh, what? What do you mean? How was that the wrong code? 5395. Okay, well. What the fuck am I doing here then? Why does that code not work? Was this wedding thing not the thing that the, the thing's talking about? attack them if they're not enemies. to look around over here more. Anything I could scavenge off this machine? I guess not. Maybe I just have to kill her. I don't know. Maybe it's a ghost. Look 
Okay. Corpse Bride. I think she was a fucking ghost. Oh, it reset! Okay, if it reset... 5395... Five, nine, five. Got it! Aha! Okay, I had to kill her! Bread! Bread and bullets. Jammed. Shelf. Stealing all this shit. Was that a pig? What the fuck was that? Rusty tractor overgrown with bunches of thin roots. Yep. Steering wheel. Okay. We've been waiting for you. Did I kill this guy too? Just so fucking dead. What the fuck? What day is it? Should have danced. I mean, I didn't I barely even knew what it was happening. The way that vision works in this game is very realistic in that fashion. I have tuna on toast. That sounds so fucking good. Shit, that sounds so good. No, 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 I'll wait until this thing's almost broken. So I guess my problem now is I just don't know where the fuck I'm going. Because, like, going back there doesn't seem like I'm really... Doesn't seem wise. The way of saying it. Problem is that I don't know what day it is now. So I just... Or was that, or was that like, me... Was that... Like, uh, the same thing as loading from a checkpoint.
Right, so there, there's this wall of roots. Got it. Poison. I can't see it's not real. Lost inventory. Lost inventory. Burned house? Oh. Destroyed well. A lot of dogs. I don't like that. Don't. Ow. I'm bad at what I do. God damn it. I am so fucked. I hear the sound of something slithering. Oh shit! What do I fucking fight with now? I can't fight with anything now. I have to run away. I can't fight. Shite. Is this thing here like lead back to my house? I feel like it does. John Darkwood versus the flying enemies from Stardew. That would be such a pain in the ass. And it'd be nice if I could recognize where the fuck I am. Okay, here. Okay, yeah, we are here. Okay. Getting worried. Okay. Uh... Repair. I don't have enough nails. Oh, wait, no, I already repaired it. Never mind. Not gonna lie, I have a feeling that it's about to get dark already. Let's go back to the burnt house. Maybe go back to the wedding. Find my inventory. I don't feel like I lost much inventory, though, is the problem. So I, I'm just like, do I have to go back? Should I go back? Okay, I'm back here. Okay, yeah, no, 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 but, 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 yeah, da, 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 da. it was a good idea to follow these these tracks. Sometimes running doesn't really take much stamina out of me. Like, right now, this is not any stamina at all, really. Yeah. 
I like how it, I like this atmospheric game quite a bit. I think it's pretty good. Will my inventory just disappear? I wonder. We'll see, I guess. Yeah, I have nothing to cook. All right. I boarded everything up, so... Oh, right, we need to close this. That is very, very much not what I wanted. Here we go. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And now we sit here. Oh my god, what am I fucking doing? What the... I just keep forgetting. That's how that works. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, I think we'll be done after this one. Because I can't really tell what the save points are. So my assumption is that it, it, it's a good idea just to assume that the day weeds will... I want to go... what? You say I want to go Lamau? My dude. What are you doing here? Dude, what are you who the fuck are you? You know what? Fine. Sit in my bed. I don't know how you got in here. But whatever. But just go just stay the fuck away from me. How could he have walked over there? Oh my god. He's gone. How did a dog get in here? How did a dog even get in here? Oh. So 
door is fine. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Can't see the fucking thing. Again, these fucking dogs. Back to back to the cabinet. After each survived night, you gain reputation with the traitor. Hey, he's back. As I approach him, the man drops the sack from his back to the floor with visible relief. I notice a smile on his face through the mate visor of his helmet. The man nods in greeting. He's a nice guy. Again, he has like a lot of useful stuff like nails and boards. Begs the question... Oh, wait, actually, I want nails and boards to upgrade the workbench. Oh, wait, that's too much. He nods. All right. I like him. Damn, this guy's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how much of this is going to be saved. What are you boying? He's like that, except less Australian. Upgrade workbench. Okay. Then next I need, like, what the fuck? Is that a car battery? Bear trap. I have access to this now. I couldn't make one before, but now I can. Part of me wants to make one of these, put it by the cabinet. The cabinet, you know? Perhaps that's not wise, though. Not gonna lie, I wanna pull these out. Can I repair the doorway? Actually, wait, can I upgrade the, uh... Nope, no upgrading for that thing. Nice. Nice little hideout house. I need to turn the generator off. No, stop, 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 please. It's almost fucking empty already. What? There. I'm just gonna just put it in my number three slot. Tank is empty. Yep, that's fine. Okay, I really should, like, stop because I don't understand how the save works in the game, so we should just basically be done right now. It's a time stop, though, so I can just let the music play, you know? So that should be uh, totally fine. 
thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back in four days, Wednesday, if you live in the United States. And uh, I'm just going to keep playing this game. This is one of these types of games where I feel like it's going to be very long, and it's also kind of an atmosphere horror game, less crazy jump scare shit. You know, it, it feels like similar to World of Horror in the sense that it, it may be indefinite, but as a, but even if it's not, it's very nice and uh, chillish, chill-ish, you know. So we'll just continue playing this on Wednesday, and then Friday, and then Saturday. And you know what? It's Halloween, so it's on theme, even though I play, I'm willing to play horror games all the time anyway. But So yeah, next Wednesday, we will simply continue on with Darkwood. And uh, I, I like it. Hope you all been liking it too. It's been heavily requested s several times by more than one person. And so far, I like it. And not only do I like it, but it does sort of seem to me like that the objective basis has goals set out for the player. And so the result is that I do think this is sort of like a, a story and that there will be like a type of definitive end that's not... I don't know, like, just endless playing, like, in Minecraft or whatever, you know. So, since that's the case, we'll just continue on and see if we can beat the game by the end of uh, October. And even if we, if we don't, like, it's not like I'm not going to play it in November, right? You know? <laughs> Maybe I'll look up after the stream what the playtime usually is, and then we'll, uh, and then I'll formulate a bit of a, a more of a plan. Leon, do you have any treats? Ga Gavlin wheel. Gavlin deal. You have those little gummies shaped like Pikmin? No, we don't want to eat the Pikmin, though. Because then, cause then we're like the big... Uh, s big swollen eye stalk creatures. I don't. I actually know what they're called. Some silly name. But yeah. Hope you all had a uh, good time tonight. I, uh, I like this vibe as well. I, I like... I like st I like slow war stuff, you know. So this whole uh, atmosphere type scenario is very soothing in that fashion. So uh, yeah, hope you all had a good time. That uh, you'll uh, see me again pretty soon. Uh, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow. I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours. And this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where it will join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And yeah, it was the uh, pleasure was mine as well. So I should get out of your hair, since it's not, it's not a, like a save-on-the-spot game, so I have no excuse. So, uh... Thank you all very much for being here. I really appreciate uh, all your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. And I will see you all again soon with more Darkwood. Ciao!